Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at creating flat representation of objects for plasma cut or laser cut and tackling the problem of parts that are not front onto one of the main views such as the bottom, the rear, the top, etc. So for instance, these here, these objects here have been made from this project. So we've got a number of files in this project and this is from a patron and he's kindly allowed me to use these files in this demonstration. So we've got this one here, the shape view. And if I come in, you can see the base of the shape view on the data. The base is pad 17. If I click in here and click pad 17, that will jump to the part this is part of. So you can see if I press the space bar on there, pad 17, this last one here, it's this part. And what's happened is that to take a 2D representation of this for laser cut or plasma cut, we must click on the viewpoint, which is the rear, which is a nice viewpoint because it's straight onto the camera. We click on the face and we have to be in the draft workbench for this. So let's come over to the draft workbench. Click on that face, we can come up to the modifications and shape 2d view and what happens is that we create and i can hide this top one and come down to the last one here you can see we can create a shape a 2d shape from this 3d object so it's flattened it it's taken that face if this was at an angle like this and i try to do this modifications and shape 2d view you see we get a flattened version from that viewpoint. And this is the problem when you have something like if I can find it in this uh, document, let's have a look. If we come up to the top, we'll have a look at the ankle plate in here and have a look at the origin, get rid of that and the two sub shape binders. This here, you can see, well, if we look from the right, it's at an angle. If I go view and toggle the axis cross, you can see this is at an angle. So the problem is that if I try to create a 2D view from this, from the rear and click on this face, come up to the modifications, shape 2D view, and we'll have a look at that. Let's hide this one now and come over to this way look from the bottom this is distorted as I zoom in you can see that we've got two edges here so it's not in the correct line of view and this video is going to show how to solve that and the workflow that we'll use to get around this it's very simple and it's all to do with working planes and centering those working planes so let's have a look how we can do this if you like what you've seen and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash Mango Jelly Solutions. Links can be found in the channel header, on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. So let's go back to our model. I'm going to get rid of this one and hit delete and hide both of these. Just hide those. We're in the draft workbench still. We've got the axis cross available. And we was looking at the top one. We'll not bother about fixing this error. We'll pretend that's not there. And it was this one here. So we've got the two subshape binders, the last pocket. And it was this one. Press the space bar on that. So we can see it's off center. What we've got to do is set the working plane to this face. This is the first step. So step one, click the face, come up to utilities and select plane. So we set the working plane to that face, but we're not centered the view on that face. To do that, make sure nothing's selected. So select some blank space. Do the same, utilities, select plane. We get the options 
on the panel now. If we come down to the bottom, we've got this center view. If I click that, what's happened, if you look at the cube, it's actually centered our view across this face. Now, if I select that face, come up to the modifications, come down to shape 2D view, we get our shape 2D view here and have a look from the bottom or the top and zoom right in. You can see we haven't got any problems with this. So this is now nice and flat to the camera, flattened to the correct perspective, and we can use this in our plasma or laser cut. And to use that, we just click on the shape 2D view, file, and export. And then we just pick something like an SVG or whatever format. So the 2D formats from here and export that out. And that will export out just that shape as a 2D format. So that fixes that problem. If for some reason, let's get rid of that. For instance, this didn't work and this was transform. Let's right click transform. So I'm going to break this now and transform this around and place this basically at this angle. So if I transform this around, it's going to flip back. So we've transformed the pocket. Let's transform the ankle part free, the ankle plate free, right click transform and bring this around this way. We've brought that around this way and hit OK. So now let's do the same. If I take this face, come up to the utilities and select plane, click in some blank space, come back up to the utilities, select plane again, and come down to the center view. So on the panel here, the center view, so we've centered our view, and we'll bring this around. Watch what happens now. If I pick that face, come up to the modifications and shape 2D view. We've got this object now. So you look at this object and you can see, well, we've got these edges and basically it hasn't worked. To fix this problem, we can use a link and we can do that in a new file. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to create a new file and save it. File, save as, and I'm just going to save it as the test file, this one here, and hit yes. So that's saved now. Let's come up to view and toggle the axis cross. So we've got that there. So let's come back. I'm going to click on this pocket. So click that face there. I'm now going to come over to the tab, making sure that I don't click anything in here and come straight up to the create link. That creates a link of that object in there. And we can see that sitting there. Now look at the axis cross. You can see the axis cross here. If we go back and look at the axis cross of this one, you can see because this has been transformed, it's out of position. So it's gone back to its original position in here. If I use this instead, I select in that face and come up to the utilities and select plane, click in the space, utilities and select plane. Because we haven't got nothing selected, we get the panel up. Therefore, we can align and center our view like so. And now when we select, this face here, making sure we don't rotate or anything our view and come up to the modifications and shape 2D view. What we get now, look from the top, because everything's being reset, we get a nice shape 2D view ready for export. Hope that video was useful and I hope to see you again in the new one. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. 
and that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header, on the about page, or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.